Hello everyone, this is Chris from BewegenderArchitektur.com Today with another tutorial It's going to be about the creation of this uh, fiber sculpture uh, Let's get started First of all we delete default cube and default lamp We're going to create a plane We are going to switch to the particle uh, tab And we press the plus button in order to create a new particle system uh, in the first uh, section we want to switch to hair and we want to decrease the number of the particles a little bit. Let's increase the segments to 10 in order to have a higher resorption of the particles later. And let's check out the particle edit mode now. The particle edit mode is a really handy tool that allows us to comp uh, the particles just like you would comp hair. Um, here you can set different uh, parameters like the radius of the tool, the strength of the tool, etc. You can also have different modes of the tool. For example, um, if you uh, select a length, then you can increase the length of these particles. Uh, for example, you can cut them, you can um, puff them in a lot of different ways. So maybe you just check out what different kinds um, of manipulation you can do with uh, of different kinds of manipulation you can do with this uh, tool. In the next step, we are going to increase the pause steps just in order to have a, a little bit of higher resultion of what we are doing here and maybe this looks quite okay at least from at least from this angle so you can play around longer in order to create more fancy looking um, shapes but uh, let's keep it like this um, as you can see, if we switch back to the object mode, as you can see, um, the structure um, looks uh, does not have the same result like in the particle edit tool. So what we have to do is we have to go to the view display uh, section and we have to increase the strand steps to 10 or to a higher number also here. Uh, please notice that, um, as you can see here, uh, the use of the particle edit tool has blocked a lot of other functions. So, for example, if you want to increase the number now, you cannot do it in the particle uh, uh, in the particle tab anymore. You have to do it in the particle edit uh, mode over here. The same with the hair range, uh, etc. So be aware of. Um, if you're using the particle edit tool, a lot of functions are no longer available. And if you disconnect uh, your, uh, your particle uh, edit, then your um, editation is lost. So just be aware of this. Um, we want to manipulate uh, this structure further. Uh, but not in the particle edit uh, tool, but with uh, the mesh editing tool. So what we have to do here is we have to switch to the modifiers tab. We have to click convert in order to create a mesh from our particle system. We're going to move it a little bit away from the original particle edit. So just to have a copy so we can see the difference we can also go back to this version so always keep your particle system if you convert to a mesh if you want to change uh, something you cannot go back from mesh to particle system so as you can see in the edit mode we are able to manipulate those uh, single strands just like we would manipulate a mesh structure. As you can see, it's an extremely high resultion of uh, points. So uh, as you may already expect, we are uh, again using the proportional editing tool in order to 
manipulate the structure. So we press O and we uh, use the proportional editing tool in order to manipulate the structure further. If you want to fine tune it here, uh, but maybe let's uh, check out how we can deal with this extremely high resolution of um, the structure and maybe if we are able to use this also in an artistic way and overall we want to reduce the amount of vertices so let's go to the mesh tools let's switch to clean up and let's check out the tool merge by distance so this is really handy because it will allow us to um, delete vertices that are on the same position uh, so this is the the normal usage but you can also use this tool in an artistic way if you increase uh, the threshold because then those single strands are getting connected in weird looking ways so in my opinion this tool can uh, make cool stuff with these tools um, in the next step we want to uh, make a 3d structure out of this uh, strands so we could use the skin modifier for this, but um, if we have such a high amount of vertices, maybe this is no good idea. So what I'm doing is simply select everything. I'm going to extrude it a little bit in one direction. And I'm going to give the whole structure a solidity phi modifier, just to give it a little bit uh, of thickness. And as you can see, it uh, is becoming, uh, there are some interesting situations, at least in my opinion. I'm going to apply the Solidity file modifier. Um, and maybe let's try to use um, the flatten tool in order to create a little bit more variation in the structure. For example, we could, um, make this uh, uh let's just let's check it out uh, i'm not sure what what we're going here but let's use uh the shrink and flatten tool maybe we can do some fancy stuff here so as you can see we have the proportional editing tool and the flatten tool and i'm just increasing some parts of the structure so i'm pressing alternative and S button and just trying to make this look like a, a thick structure let's call it like this okay um, finally we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier in order to make the whole structure smoother oh, sorry my PC is not happy with those idea but it was success successful so not from every position but uh, in the detail there are some um, in my opinion cool situations so if you look here there are these it looks like i don't know how to 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 call is it looks looks a little bit like guts or or something like that and is is this weird situation that you have fibers and they connect together so in my opinion uh, this is a really interesting uh way to create fancy structures so hopefully you can uh, use them in your architectural project please Post your results in the comments if you like. And let's see you next time at bewegendearchitektur.com. Thank you very much.